the Federal Aviation Act, there's dozens of, of terms defined. And there are actually terms that use common carrier in their definition, yet Congress never defined the term common carrier, which then left it to the FAA to define and subsequently redefine over the years for itself what is the definition of, of a common carrier. In 1986, the, the Federal Aviation Administration uh, issues an advisory circular that sets out what they believe to be the essential elements of a common carrier, that is someone who is holding themselves out for transport from place to place for compensation. The FAA has spent the last three decades redefining the term on the margins through legal interpretations. So someone will ask the FAA, I want to do this thing, does this make me a common carrier? And the FAA will say, well, given these facts and these circumstances, that may make you a common carrier. Common carrier is not a new term, right? You can go back 600 years and see courts grappling with the question of who is and is not a common carrier. The ferryman's case. A man agreed to transport another man's horse, and the horse died in transit, and courts are like, well, there was no contract, written contract between them. Where do the duties lie between these two, and who's responsible for the death of the horse? And the courts basically said, you know, there are certain duties for someone that holds themselves out for transporting porting goods or people to the public for compensation. The common law has provided us a set of, of defaults in the absence of a contract, right? The courts have recognized that you can move from contract to common carrier and back and forth depending on the nature of your uh, relationship with the person you're contracting with. The FAA doesn't see it that way. The FAA has basically created framework and once someone moves into common carriage, they uh, are treated very, very differently um, than if they weren't. The FAA is, is sort of following its own. It's like ants marching, right? Like it, it may be uh, uh, moving away from our common law understanding of what common carriage is, but because it's sort of following in its own line and is not clearly erroneous from like the the interpretation before, or the interpretation before, it's given deference. And as a result, the FAA has been able to, to deviate quite far from our basic understanding of what a common carrier is.